All Manchester United fans knew that we needed to sign a playmaking midfielder in the summer. Instead, we were left empty handed after long drawn out sagas like Bruno Fernandes, but we were tentatively linked with a move for Leicester's James Madison. Now the reports are starting once again, instead of linking us with a summer move, linking us with a January move for the 22 year old playmaker from Leicester. But where are the reports? Who's saying them? Is there any truth to them? Let's take a look at this transfer rumour, both from United and Leicester's perspective. Now, before I do begin, if you are new to United People's TV, sub, there's plenty of these types of videos, but let's get straight into this one. First thing to do is take a look where these reports are coming from. It's coming from James Robson of the Evening Standard, saying that Man United are monitoring Madison with Solskjaer's interest being registered back in the summer. Goes on to say that Solskjaer does want midfield signings and that he's got backing to do so from United. I mean, it's all well and good hearing this now, but why didn't United aggressively push to try and sign Madison during the summer? It's not as if for the first few weeks of this season, Madison's all of a sudden become a hot prospect. He created more chance in the Premier League than any other player last year. He was fantastic. And United clearly, desperately needed a playmaking signing in midfield. It's why fans were so excited by the idea of Bruno Fernandes coming to the club. He didn't join. We were left with what we've got. And then going into this Leicester game at the weekend now, Pogba's missing, Martial's missing. All of a sudden, the shortfalls of the summer are immediately coming to haunt United only a few weeks into the season. And as much as I do want United to go for Madison in January, I question why we didn't properly go after him in the summer because not much has changed. If we want him in January, we should have wanted him a few months ago. Saying that, I would love United to sign Madison, as I'm sure pretty much every single one of you would as well. Madison could be that missing piece in this United midfield. I still question whether we've got anywhere near enough strength in terms of defensive midfield, but in terms of attacking midfield, Jesse Lingard cannot operate as a number 10. He's simply not good enough to be that crafty midfielder who is a playmaker. Sorry, Jesse, it doesn't suit your game. And why matter as good as he is on the ball, he's too slow and doesn't suit this style. But someone like James Madison could slot in there so perfectly. And he's fantastic at set pieces as well. Madison could be that sort of creative eye. That player that would force United, not force United, would give United another option apart from Paul Pogba. Because when Pogba has a poor game in midfield, United have no creativity from there whatsoever. And I do worry about what's going to happen against Leicester this weekend, where we all see Madison probably tear United apart. But I would love to see United go after Madison in January, just as much as I would have done to see United go after him in the summer. He's a top-class player, only 22, clearly can get better and better and better. And regardless of whether he's British or not, I want United to go for him in January. And by the reports, Solskjaer is intended to do exactly that. And of course, if he does join United, he'll be linking up again with Harry Maguire. And quickly on the topic of Harry Maguire, there's a video over on the 888 Sport YouTube channel where a Wolves fan genuinely thinks that Conor Cody should be starting for England at Euro 2020 ahead of Harry Maguire. He's one of the most consistent performers, the best passing ranger of any defender I've seen in the Premier League. Harry Maguire is too slow, John Stones is unreliable, and that's why Conor Cody should be one of the first names for England squad in Euro 2020. I really, really try not to nibble on things like this, but I could not resist on this one. Cody, he needs to get called up to the England senior squad first before you even talk about getting him into the squad for the Euro 2020. And ahead of Harry Maguire, who for me is clearly in the top five English centre-backs in the Premier League. And he's not as slow as people make him out to be, and he's certainly got a great passing range. So I think this guy is mad. Do me a favour, there's a link in the description. Go over to the actual video. I've left a comment on there. Like my comment, because you can't just leave that sort of comment and let someone get away with it. Madness. But anyway, back to Madison. When it comes to Madison and any sort of potential move in January, the bigger question really is, would Leicester sell him? And I don't really know why they would. Leicester are third in the Premier League as it stands. Brendan Rodgers a good manager, has a great squad. I would argue a lot of those Leicester players would get into United starting 11, and Madison is a massively important part of that puzzle. And sure, he only cost 22.5 million when they signed him from Norwich, but if United tried to sign him, 
in January. How much do you think Madison would cost? 60, 70, 80? We paid 80 for Maguire. And the Maguire transfer will show United it's not easy to deal with Leicester. If they don't want to sell a player at a certain price, they won't. They sat there and they got the price they wanted for Harry Maguire. I just can't see why Leicester would sort of semi-derail their season and take out such an important player in their team in January just to make a quick buck. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. But I think the real issue with any sort of move for Madison is the fact that Leicester don't have to sell him and won't want to sell him. And it's all important in terms of a transfer because you need two clubs to agree. So United might just be wasting their time in January trying to sign Madison. But I do think United and Solskjaer will try and sign somebody because we know there were shortfalls in the summer. We didn't replace a lot of players going out. In some respects, I agree with it. But when it comes to central midfield, we were already weak before we let Fellaini and Herrera go. And now Pogba's injured. Lo and behold, our midfield against Leicester is probably going to be Matic and McTominay. But Madison would be an outstanding signing for United. I just question whether Leicester would let him go, and especially let him go in January. Now, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Do you think there's any chance of United landing Madison and getting him in January? If we did, how, how important would it be for our season? Could it sort of transform our season in that second half? Let me know what you think about this in the comments. But the reports linking Madison to United are back. They're going to be growing in intensity all season long. And if he plays an absolute blinder against United on Saturday at Old Trafford, expect these rumours to increase even more. Let me know what you think about the whole thing in the comments below, as always. And if you are still here and you're new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe and get involved. Until next time, though, take it easy.